Hello guys, welcome to another SOAP UI web service testing tutorial from rcvacademy.com. In this tutorial, we are going to continue with the um, ex uh, sending XML request through Groovy script. So basically, in the last tutorial, we have learned how you can parse the XML and then populate the required nodes in the XML to uh, send it automatically using Groovy script and uh, verify the response coming back. Okay, so now this is in continuation to that. So what we have seen in the last tutorial is that we have used the XML holder class to parse the XML nodes and then populate the values uh, or the custom property values uh, A and B that we have defined at the test case level. All right, so here are the properties so these were the property custom properties that we had defined and these were the properties property values that have been populated into this xml that we have uh, defined here the final xml so if you run this uh, you can see that the values are being populated here uh, in item uh, int a and int b all right so now what's the next step so now you are able to populate the uh, the values in the node of the XML that are the required values. Now the next step is to basically send this XML and verify the response. So how are you going to send the um, the request? So for that you need a class with del test run context that we have import that we have to import as well. So first class was to form the XML or parse the XML XML holder class. And the second class that you need to import in order to send this request is with del test run context, the highlighted one here. Okay, so if you just say import uh, space and the, uh, provide the name of this particular class, um, then that should be good enough. All right, now we have generated final XML. Now, what we need to do is we need to basically go back uh, to the request and we should be able to place this generated xml in the request uh, property here right the highlighted one here so here you should be able to place this xml okay so how you will be able to do it so to do that um, you just need to set the property value so which we have already seen in the last couple of tutorials that you just need to set the value or set property value of request to this particular final XML that we have generated. So just to do that, just say test runner dot test case. So where we are going, we are basically in this groovy script. So we'll go to the test case and then come back to this particular test step and set the property value request to this particular final XML. Okay, so we are going to the test case and then we'll come back to uh, test steps. So test runner from here, we went to test case, then we came back to test steps and we have to select the test step that we want to populate the value. So we'll say add. Now we are here in this add step and then we just say set property value and provide the parameters. Um, so provide the arguments there. So what the first argument is the request so you just say request and what value you want to populate the request with is the final XML okay now before you send this you need to set the request with this final XML that's what you need to send right so now it has been set so this request if you run this now that should be so the request here the soap envelope will be set to this particular final XML let's run this and yep it has run let me check yep and let's go back and see the contents of this XML so the value should be there um, the, the items or the int a and int b so you can see int b contains two three four and int a contains one two three now let me change this 
to some other numbers so that if I run it it should be again clear okay now let me run again so coming back to the soap again okay this is a bit better so at the moment the values are still the old one let me run again and now the new value should be populated all right so item yep so five six seven for int a and the int b has seven six eight all right so now the properties are being set with the final xml so now what's the next step the next step is to define the context of the request that you want to run so for example at the moment you are in the groovy script and the context is this particular script so if you want to run the test which is basically the add so you have populated the request uh, property with the final xml and we want to run this particular add request so what we have to do is we have to define the context first so let's define or go to this particular request so we'll say add request test and then similar thing so add a test runner dot test case dot test steps and just go to this add test all right if you want to execute any other add test uh, which is in other regression suite we have to traverse to the um, project level and then go to the test suite and go to that particular add test case we'll cover that as well um, in this uh, same tutorial so now we have defined add request test step we have uh, taken it into uh, the variable and now if we say we have to create an object of the visdel test run context okay so that we can send this request and get the response so how we can define that we'll say context uh, give any name so i'll say add request test and then create a new object okay a new object of visdel uh, test run context and then what context you are basically that argument you need to pass okay so you are creating an object for running uh, the add request test okay now the next step is to run this request so just say add request test and then dot run and then you have to pass the arguments so the first one is runner test runner and the second one is the context right and that's it okay so here when you say run dot when you say run test runner and context that's what the visdel test runner uh, test run context takes or this run method takes as argument so you have to provide the test runner that's fine but the context or which uh, which test case or which request you are going to hit so for example you at, at this particular point the context is to send the add request the context might be to send the multiply request so diff similarly uh, you can change this context to multiply or to other add test cases which are in other test suite so that's why defining the context is very important to ensure that you are hitting the right request or whatever request that you intend to hit okay so that's why we had to define the context so we have defined the context taken to the variable and then create a new object for the context and then we are running the uh, we are uh, initiating the run using test runner and the context of the add test case now let's 
run the whole script and see that the test is actually getting run so if i run this yep so script has been executed so now i should be able to see the request and response so if you see the request you see 567 and 768 has been uh, populated here and in the response the addition result has been displayed okay now this is the context for the test step which is in the same test case now so for example i want to hit the add request which is in the regression test one two how we are going to do that so it's pretty simple pretty similar nothing um, you know like complicated you just have to change um, the actual you know like the uh, the property so for example here we have defined the xml for the test step add which is in the same test case if you want to go to the other add test case what we have to do is we will just simply change it to test case so test runner dot test case dot test suite dot project okay and then again coming back from project to the suite so test suite and then select the test suite so i'll say regression tests one two all right i'll bring it to the next line and then dot test cases here it will be test suite test cases so now i'm in this regression test suite and i'll say test cases is add test case all right so i'll say add test case now i'm in the add test case and now we have to go to the test steps so test steps is add okay and now we are getting the property value for the add request okay now similarly we have to change the same thing so let let's keep these as same uh, and because we'll get the property value from the same test case so whatever we have defined here as the property value we'll use the same property value when we are sending the request for this add okay so let's keep these two lines same now we are forming in this uh, in this line we are forming the uh, a new object for this xml request and in this add yes we are setting uh, the values that's fine so here we have to change it again so what we have to do is we have to go to that particular test step again so we'll say copy this and then we'll set the property value with the final xml okay and then we'll run this request so we have to define the context uh, request test so the test that we want to run is a bit different it's in different test suite so we'll change this path right so we have we are into a different test suite and we have defined the add request test and in the context now the rest thing will remain same and now it this test case should be executed so at the moment you can see three and three are populated here and there is no response for this particular add request okay let me run this particular test and see how it goes so script has executed hit okay i'll open this add request again you can see five six seven seven six eight have been populated and the response 1335 has been um, sent all right so because there are no assertions in this that's why it's showing uh, it's not showing as green so what i'll say is i'll just say compliance schema compliant assertion um, and that should be fine okay so now it has turned to green so that's pretty much how you are going to uh, define the context or uh, parse the xml populate the values in the nodes of the xml and then simil uh, similarly how to use the wisdel test run context so basically there are just three to four um, you know like further steps once you form your xml just uh, define the context which 
a request you want to send and then create an object of the visual uh, test run context and then just uh, call the method dot run and provide that context of that particular request okay so this is basically if you follow the last couple of tutorials this is basically the end-to-end -end sort of flow uh, from groovy how you can define the properties then um, how you can also uh, utilize groovy to uh, parse the xml populate the values in the nodes and send xml and uh, get the response now in the next tutorial will cover some of the verification points or verification that you can do from the response because uh, the whole purpose of testing or automated testing is to basically uh, verify that the response you are getting is uh, the expected response and that's what we'll cover in the next tutorial hope you like the video thank you for watching